Welcome, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. We need help caring for the animals that come in. I'm Linda Wang, the head veterinarian here at the rescue. I'm Kevin. I I'm not a vet, but no one's perfect, right? Lucille and I are vet techs. Veterinarian technicians, we're here to help you with whatever you need when treating the animals. We take our jobs very seriously. Speak for yourself. I get to have fun. I'm Joni, the enrichment specialist. That's fancy talk for someone who gets to play with animals all day. We all have fun when one of our rescued animals gets adopted. But first, you'll need to give them a clean bill of health. Don't worry, I'll be there to review the cases with you. Well, I'm sure you can't wait to get started. Welcome aboard! Welcome, welcome, our first three visitors. First up, from as far away as the local park, Sunshine, the lovable kitten. What Kevin isn't telling you is she looks rather healthy. A boy brought in Sunshine as a stray. I wish everyone was as responsible. Oh, but some are. A couple brought in this macaw, Admiral, after they saw him picking out his own feathers. But Daisy only came in when her owner's parents found her. Just look at her. She does look a bit thin for a rabbit. So, we should let our doctor get to work. It's your first day, so Dr. Wang asks that you perform a wellness exam on Sunshine with her. Just tell me when, and I will prepare her for examination. Since you are just starting out here, I'm going to help you through your first case. After that, you will be the only doctor in the room during treatment. Don't be nervous. We all have great faith in you. Don't forget me, Dr. Wang. I I'm here too. Oh, yes. We can't possibly properly treat a patient without the help of one of our great veterinarian technicians. Kevin will also be here to assist, of course. Well, without further ado, let's begin. Your vet technicians can give you information on each patient that comes in. The information that they have can usually give you clues as to what's causing the patient's illness. Start by asking Kevin some relevant questions about the case. Now, click the green arrow next to a question that's relevant to the case. You'll need to ask three helpful questions in every case. She was wandering around the park all alone until a little boy found her. There are good people everywhere, don't you think? Good, that was a very relevant question. Now you're... She eats more than I do. Well, for a kitten. She's getting plenty to eat and drink. That was a good question. She's quite playful, so she must have been around humans before. One thing I have noticed, she scratches her ear a lot. Good, that was the last helpful question. Now, click the Done button in the lower right-hand corner of the question screen. Now that you have your facts in order, it's time to start the examination. You will find your medical equipment arranged in groups under the tabs at the bottom of the screen. The available groups include examine, monitor, test, maintain, operate, and medicate. I can tell you from over 20 years of experience, I've learned that it's best to begin almost any examination using the examine, monitor, and test groups. It seems that this kitten has no noticeable illness. However, it's best to look thoroughly before giving any patient a clean bill of health. To start, now in the examine group, select the magnifying glass by clicking on it. Good. Now put the cursor somewhere on the patient's body and click the mouse button to take a closer look. Click, click the zoom out button in the lower right hand side of the screen. Next, select the thermometer from the monitor tab. The therm now, with a the thermometer in hand, move over the patient's body until you see a pop-up that says posterior, then click. Notice that you are now looking at the patient's rear. Pay attention to the pop-ups as you move the cursor to find the patient's rear. A blue pop-up that says rear will become visible near your cursor when you're in the right spot. Now use the thermometer on the patient's rear to take her temperature. Sometimes when you take a patient's vitals, you'll be asked if they're in normal range. If you aren't sure of the answer, you can always consult your PDA, which has information under Species Info. I just knew you'd get that one right. 
Now click the Zoom Out button to prepare for the next portion of the treatment. Good! Now it's time to check the patient's pulse. In the Examine Group tab, select the palpitation glove. Now move the glove over the back leg of the patient until you see the hind leg pop-up text. Click this area to focus on her leg. Once you're focused on the patient's leg, click it to feel her pulse. Great, she has a normal pulse. She's looking healthy so far. Click the Zoom Out button in the lower right-hand side of the screen. Now select the stethoscope in the Monitor group. Move the stethoscope over the patient's body until you reach a pop-up that says Anterior. Now find the chest and click on it to use the stethoscope. Using the species information on your PDA, try your best to answer this question correctly. Right answer! Now click the Zoom Out button to prepare for the next portion of the treatment. Now that we've made sure that the heart, lungs, and body temperature are normal, we can move on with other tests. Please select the otoscope from the Examine group. Click on the patient's head to focus in on it. Click on the patient's ear to use the otoscope. Since we found something out of the ordinary in the ears, it may be a good idea to get a sample from them. Without zooming back out, select the bacterial swab in the test tool group. Now use the swab to clean out that black crusty material by clicking on the patient's ear. Since this little stray kitten has ear mite parasites, she may have other parasites that we can't see so easily. This is why we should perform a fecal test. Testing the patient's waist is a great way to find internal parasites. Start by zooming out from the patient's head view. Select the fecal test which is located in the test tool group. It's the second on the left. With the fecal test tool selected, move the cursor over to the patient's posterior and click to focus in on that area. Now that you're focused on the back end of the patient, point the cursor at the patient's rear and click to use it. Tapeworms will be easy enough for us to take care of. Now we need to get a blood sample from the patient to send to the lab. First, zoom out from the posterior view so that all of the patient can be seen. In the test tab, the first tool on the left is the blood test syringe. Click on this to select it. Now navigate to the patient's back leg and then click to focus on that area. Click on the patient's hind leg to take a blood sample. Take a look at the blood test results on your PDA. They tell you the good news about this kitten's blood work. She is not infected with feline immunodeficiency virus. This is great news. Now click the Zoom Out button to prepare for the next portion of the treatment. Now that we've completed our rounds of tests for the patient, in the Medicate tab, select the topical medication. With the medication in hand, click the anterior or front portion of the patient to apply the medication to the kitten's back. That will take care of the fleas and mites. Good. Now click the Zoom Out button to prepare for the next portion of the treatment. Select the oral medication from the Medicaid tab. Take the oral medication and click on the patient's head. Click on the patient's mouth to give her the medicine she needs to fight off those internal parasites. Right answer. Now for the last portion of the treatment. Click the Zoom Out button so that we can move on to finish up with our young patient. Select the medical syringe. Navigate to the anterior view of the patient. Anterior means front. Now use the syringe on the patient's back to give her those much needed vaccinations. Good job! It seems that this little kitten will be just fine. For now, we'll keep her in the clinic to make sure that she doesn't have any adverse reactions to the vaccine. Now that you've finished your treatment, click the orange button with the check mark on it to sign out. Now it's time for you to give a diagnosis. Select a diagnosis to sign out. Be careful. Right answer. After you have cured your patient, that may not be the end of your relationship. Some patients, like our sunshine here, will have to be kept in the clinic for further observation, and then will need a follow-up appointment before they can be given a clean bill of health. Also, you will be asked to prepare some patients for adoption through enrichment. To know which animal is assigned to you, just go check the Community Housing Center. Everyone here lends a hand in enrichment. I call dibs on sunshine as my enrichment patient. <laughs> You'll have to take that up with Joni, Kevin.
All right, then. That's enough talk. There are still sick patients waiting for treatment. Let's get out there and help some animals.